Hey guys, it's Cassie Monique. I'm back with another water fasting snake diet update. So I um, I actually haven't started the, the snake juice yet. I wanted to wait until I get extreme weakness, which will be probably tomorrow because when I fasted in the past, that's usually when I wake up and I'm dizzy and I could barely walk. It's usually on the third day. And that day, I'm usually in pretty deep ketosis at that point. So I mixed it up not too long ago, a little bit before I did the video. And these are two liters of water, one liter a piece. And what I did was just dumped it in a jug that I have, a water jug. And then I threw all the salts in there. And I shook it up. And then I poured it back into these bottles. And I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator because I'm pretty sure it'll be easier to drink if it's cold. Because most of the time things, for me personally, I like things to be really, really cold. And if they taste bad, it's easier to drink if it's cold. That's just my personal preference. So I'll probably be starting that tomorrow. And then for people who struggle with um, having a bowel movement, but I know some people get concerned about that. And some people do the water flush. I mean, the, the salt water flush. I like to do castor oil. And this brand is the Heritage version. <laughs> it's from, uh, they sell, the, the first time I bought this, they had it at um, Whole Foods. But I order this from Amazon like every so often. It lasts a long time. All you need is a little bit. And you can Google how much you're supposed to take at a time, but honestly, I don't, um, I just do this, you know, this works just fine. It doesn't hurt me that way. And I just, you know, knock it back. And I do that the first two days. I found out about castor oil because when I was pregnant with my first child a long time ago, I was so tired of being pregnant. It was time for him to come out. And my cousins told me that I could induce labor by drinking castor oil. So they told me to drink the castor oil and mix it with orange juice so it'll be easier to drink. And that should induce labor. So like a fool, I listened to them. I went to the store and got the castor oil and I got the orange juice and I mixed it up and I drank a lot of it too. And I, I downed it and it was like, I was like gagging when drinking. It was like the nastiest thing. One of the nastiest things I've ever tasted in my life. And I sat and I waited for it to induce labor. Well, it never induced labor. But what it did do was keep me on the toilet all day and all night. I mean, everything came out. I'm surprised my organs didn't come out. Like this stuff is crazy and to me for my body nothing works as good as castor oil another thing i got was this diatomaceous earth i just started uh started uh researching that i, I was looking i was on somebody's youtube channel and they had a video about this and i'm like hmm what is this because i like hearing about you know health and wellness and natural things to help clean you out and and make you healthy something about it just turns me on i don't know so i picked up some of this and i'm going to try it he's supposed to mix a tape is it one one teaspoon one to two teaspoons daily so i'm going to start with one teaspoon and see how that goes and I'll probably do an update video on it if anybody's interested well I'm gonna do a video if you're interested or not because I want to do videos uh, so anyway I got on the scale this morning and I lost about I lost about three to four pounds I have to look at at my numbers to be exact I took pictures of them and I could actually see, but it was like three to four pounds, which I'm happy with. It keeps me motivated. Um, I'm feeling pretty hungry today. I made my kids uh, some a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. And when I opened the, the bag of bread, it just, the smell just hit me in the face and I wanted one so bad. And then I have to 
cook them breakfast, lunch, dinner. They want snacks. And then when my husband gets home, he expects a meal, which he should get one because he worked all day. And I find it so hard to resist temptation, you know, especially when I'm cooking dinner for my husband because I want to taste what I'm cooking and it just smells so good and I want to eat it. But I have to try to be strong because I want to be ripped. I want to be small for the summer. I want to wear all the cute little dresses and the tight little outfits. And, you know, I just want to feel good about myself and feel pretty. I've Since having kids, you know, my last three, my self-esteem has been really low because I've never been this big in my life. So I'm really, really, really trying to stay focused and reach my goal. So like I said, I think I said in the other video, I really don't want to put a date on it. I'm going to, I'm going to say seven days for right now, but I'm hoping to push as long as I possibly can. You know, I, if I can go 30 days, I want to go 30 days. I, I just want to get this weight loss thing over with. I've been working on this for, for months and I'm really bored of it. And I also need to find out how I'm going to maintain the weight. I need to figure out what kind of foods I'm going to eat. And, you know, there's still the acne situation. I don't know what foods are, are setting off the acne in my body, setting all that nasty stuff wanting to come out on my face. So I have to figure that out. But I think I pretty much covered everything in this video. In my last video, I forgot to mention... With my last pregnancy, my fifth and final child, I had gestational diabetes and that really scared me. And I had a coworker that told me she had gestational diabetes and after she had the baby, she kept the diabetes. She was diagnosed with type two diabetes. And then when I got checked afterwards, I was borderline diabetic or pre-diabetic, whatever they call it. My A1C was, was still really high. So I was really freaked out. So I really, really, really have to use, I mean, have to lose weight. I mean, forget the looks and, you know, how my self-esteem feels or whatever. I totally have to do it for my health to, to be healthy because I have to be around my kids. I want to be around my husband and I need energy and I just want to be happy and healthy. That's all. So that's all I'm going to update with today. I'll be back tomorrow to... Tell you if I'm in ketosis or not. Tell you if I stuck to the fast or not, which I most likely will. I'm determined, like I said. So um, thanks for watching. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'd appreciate all your comments down below. I need all the support I could possibly get. And I'm here to support you with whatever you need. So um, talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.